All right. What is the future without the youth? And we are so excited to have a student-run program that happens later today called Manzanar After Dark. And uh, with us here today from the UCSD Nikkei Student Union is Lauren Matsumoto. Thank you everyone, it's a great honor to be here at the 50th annual Manzanar Pilgrimage and for everyone to still continue to be here after a very long and hot day. As mentioned, I am with the UC uh, San Diego Nikkei Student Union as their co-president as well as one of the student organizers of Manzanar at dusk. We all take part in the Manzanar Pilgrimage for various reasons. Some of us are here to learn about the truth and history that we are seldom taught in class. Some of us are here to reconnect and to remember a family history. Family history that maybe readily was discussed or for some of us seldom talked about or not at all. And some of us are revisiting a past, a part of your life that was behind barbed wires. I would fall into the category of remembering and reconnecting with my family history. And I have my dad, Barney Matsumoto, to thank for being the first to share this knowledge with me of the incarcerations of my grandparents. My grandfather, Bob Matsumoto, was sent to Tule Lake, and my grandmother, Jane Adachi, was sent to Gila River. And it was also my dad who took me on my first Manzanar pilgrimage, and it's a great honor. When we come to Manzanar, there is always some kind of discussion occurring, whether silently with the land, or through conversations with the people that we came with, or the new friends that we made along the way. And a, an important thought that we all think about, and is very prominent in our mind, is how could this happen? And I can list all of the reasons why that I've learned over the years, but I think one that is very important that we highlight today, and something that we need to change, is during, in 1942, the Japanese American community didn't have strong allies that can stand up with us and speak against what was happening. And since then, we have seen history repeating itself. And as we stand here on land that was once behind barbed wires, there are other communities still with the, behind barbed wired fences. Some of them are immigrants currently placed in detention centers. There are replicas of these concentration camps that we said would never happen again. So let's have those discussions, but let's also take action. And there are many ways this can happen. Be an active participant in your community, be a registered voter and go to those polls and elect those officials that will vote for things that you want. And as well, support projects like Katari, a trip organized by the Manzanar Committee and the Manzanar National Historic Site that focuses on educating the next generation of student leaders. If you're interested in continuing this discussion after the Manzanar pilgrimage, we invite everyone to join us at Manzanar Adas, organized by the Nikkei Student Unions of UC San Diego, UC Los Angeles, Cal Poly Pomona, Cal State Long Beach, and Cal State Fullerton, along with the Manzanar Committee. We invite everyone, and it will be held at 5 p.m. at Lone Pine High School. Those who have joined us will be given the space to reflect on their time here at the Manzanar Pilgrimage, as well as tell their own stories. Everyone from all ages and backgrounds are welcomed, and we especially encourage former Nikkei incarcerees and their families to join us to share their stories. Thank, uh, we hope to see everyone there at 5 p.m. Lone Pine High School. Thank you. Woo!